sixth grade module one lesson four problem set number one use diagrams or the description of equivalent ratios to show that the ratios two to three four to six and eight to twelve are equivalent so i'm going to just use i'll do both so let's start with so we're trying to prove that four to six is equal to two to three so i'll do two to three And we can prove that if this is 2, we could make it equal to 4. And if each of these are 2, this would be 6. So it's like saying 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 3 equals 6. So our constant, what we're multiplying by, is 2. So if we're multiplying by the same number, then they are equivalent. So if you wanted to describe that, you could say 2 times 2 is equal to 4, 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and the constant number, or c, is equal to 2. It's this 2 right here is constant, which makes this an equivalent ratio. So let's do um, what's the other one? 8 and 12. So 2 to 3. So here we have 8, which means that each of these would be 4. And if this is 12, then each of these are also 4. So 4 times 2 is equal to 8, and 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So our constant here, we're multiplying by 4 each time. And if we wanted to describe it, let's say 4 times 2 equals 8, 4 times 3 equals 12. So the constant number or C is 4. This 4 right here, we're multiplying them by the same number so we get an equivalent ratio. Number 2, prove that 3 to 8 is equal, equivalent to 12 to 32. Use diagrams to support your answer and use the description of equivalent ratios to support your answer. So basically just what we, what we did right here. This is number two. We need to prove that three to eight is equal to 12 to 32. So let's draw three to eight. There's three. Actually, I'm gonna make that smaller. So we have to fit eight on here. So I'm gonna make it twice as big and then a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. Okay, there's three to eight. We need to prove that it's equal to 12 to 32. So if this is equal to 12, then each of these should be, if we do 12 and split into three equal parts, each of those should be four, which means that all of these would be four. So let's see, four times eight is equal to 32. So that is true. And we could prove it by saying our description, we can say something like 4 times 3 is equal to 12, 4 times 8 is equal to 32, so 12 is equivalent to, or the ratio is 12 to 32 is equivalent to 3 to 8. And if we want to write it out, we can say that the constant number C is 4. The ratio of Isabella's money to Shane's money is 3 to 11. If Isabella has $33, how much money do Shane and Isabella have together? Use diagrams to illustrate your answer. 
let's we have Isabella and Shane and they are 3 to 11 so 3 to 11 Yep, that's 11. Okay, so Isabella has $33. So this is equal to $33, which means that each piece is $11. So then all of these are also $11. So 11 times 11 is equal to 121. So that would mean that Shane has $121. Now, the question is, how much do Shane and Isabella have together? So we want to know what their combined money is. We need to add them. 121 plus $33 is equal to $154. So we would say together, Isabella and Shane have one hundred fifty four dollars.